these weapons are supposed to be banned. Disturbing photo was found on my feed this morning. A group of mostly four four wheel drives was owned by the AFP, which was doing the rounds of various social media this morning. One eagle eyed readers spotting something disturbing. The cars in the photo were congregating somewhere near the anti protesters with federal officer on the roof of one four wheel drive setting up a lard on in camera. For those who don't know, lard is a long range acoustic device or a sonic weapon. It is used to diffuse crowds in the most humane way which is cruel and barbaric. The device emits a massive pulse wave of low frequency radios emitted at 2.5 kilohertz. And you can't hear it, but you can feel it. A lab was used in the 2009 G20 summit. Side effects noted were mild traumatic brain injuries, permanent hearing loss, tinnitus, ringing of the ears, eardrum profilation, holes, ear pains, dizziness, and disorientation. If you are at the Canberra protest, keep an eye out for the four-wheel drive in the photos below, as it can make you very sick. Expect, especially where children are involved, which is, there is the Canberra process. I said, I got some bad gut feeling, guys. Bad, bad gut feeling. Lads are a long range acoustic device. Sound cannons were designed for military use in Afghanistan, designed to communicate with a potential threat over a long distance and also be able to use disperse a political threat with high pitched deterrent tone. Lads have now been acquired by police departments who officers have used these acoustic weapons at Black Lives Matter protests for cities across the US against protesters standing rock and against protesters in the G20 summit in 2009 and the Republic National Conference Convention in 2004. Recently it was used against Black Lives Matter protests in Rochester. Why they are so dangerous, lads are designed to produce very loud sound. A loud sound can cause significant damage to our hearing and balance systems how you can protect. It's not fully possible to protect yourself from hearing damage from the lard. The only way to protect them is to not use them. Mm. Uh, be prepared, bring protective earmuffs or foam earplugs with the highest decibel rating you can find to, with you to the protest. Protective earmuffs are better because they're easy to put on quickly. Most people also do not know how to insert earplugs properly, so you're most unlikely to be able to get foam ear plugs in your ears quickly though enough quickly especially if you're in a panic noise cancelling headphones are not the same as protective earmuffs noise head cancelling headphones are good at cancelling low frequency sound but the different tone on the lard is high frequency know what the lard looks like be aware of your surroundings so that you will know if there are any lard nearby lard may be worn carried by an officer or mounted on a vehicle or a helicopter if you've seen a lard Warn those around you, put on your earmuffs and earplugs and look for a place nearby where you may be able to hide from the sound. If you don't have earmuffs or earplugs, be prepared. Co cover your ears with your hands. This will not work as well as earplugs or earmuffs, but it will be better than nothing. Sound bounces off hard surfaces, so if you can move behind a brick wall or concrete structure, this will help protect you somewhat from the sound. Police will often warn protesters by using loudspeaker function of the lard before deploying a deterrent tone. If you hear officers using the lard to talk to the crowd, be aware that they may be preparing to use the deterrent tone next. Lard produces a high focus beam of sound that can be directed as a target. The sound comes from a lard, it's high highly directional, which means it does not spread out the way that sound usually does. It means that the people behind or the side of the device will still hear the sound, but it won't be as loud as it is for the people in the path of the beam of the sound produced by the light. If a light is deployed, do everything you can to move away from the beam sound. Run away perpendicularly from the light. Do not try to outrun a light by running away in the same direction as the sound. So, yeah. Run opposite. Remember, the only way to protect the civilians from loud is not to use them. Tell your representatives what you think of the weaponized use of. Yeah. Unfortunately, many impacts of the loud, such as hearing loss or ringing in the ears, can be permanent. However, it's still important to see your ear specialist if you're experiencing difficulty hearing, ringing of the ears. If you're experiencing physical symptoms such as bleeding or other discharge from your ears, you should seek medical attention. Yeah. Be careful, everyone. Seriously, I just got this bad feeling about Canberra. Really do. One other thing I'm just going to add before I finish this one is going to Canberra. 
copy it, share this. If any violence starts, everyone around it just sits down straight away. It separates the paid troublemakers. Make sure everyone sits down and don't give the police any attention. No shouting at them. Sit in silence. They want you to shout because they have the TV crews ready to film. We have done this at other protests and it works very well. Police don't know what to do because it does. They go out with a plan and it doesn't work. When the violence stops, stand up again. It works a treat. Stay calm, stay safe. But if they're using those acoustic weapons, I don't know. I don't think that's going to work, but just be very careful.